Hi, I'm David and I'm the Customer Education Manager at Receipt Bank's London office. Today, I'll be taking you through the first day on your new account and the steps you can take to make sure Receipt Bank is set up perfectly for your business. Let's log into the Receipt Bank website and take a look at your account. If this is the first time you've seen Receipt Bank, then welcome. This is the Costs workspace, the place where your company's purchases will be stored and managed. But first, let's make sure that your account is set up in the right way. We'll be doing this in two steps, by importing your chart of accounts to Receipt Bank and by creating additional users who each have permission to submit and process your company's transactions. The Lists section on the sidebar menu is where you can find all the information Receipt Bank uses to correctly code your extracted data. Let's click Categories to find your chart of accounts. These are currently set to a default pre-made option, but we want to import your own chart of accounts so that the new purchases can be coded according to your existing financial records. There are three ways to do this. By integrating with an accounting software, by importing a CSV of your existing chart of accounts, or by manually creating a new chart of accounts in Receipt Bank. When you integrate Receipt Bank with another accounting program, we'll automatically sync your chart of accounts so that they match exactly between the two softwares. You can do this by clicking Connections in the sidebar menu and selecting Integrations from the dropdown. On the next page, click Choose Software and follow the on-screen instructions. After you've integrated, come back to the categories list to see your chart of accounts imported from your integration. If you can't integrate Receipt Bank with your accounting software, you can still import your chart of accounts as a CSV file. From the categories list, click add a new list via CSV and upload the file containing your chart of accounts. Click to confirm the setup and see each of your accounts instantly rebuilt by Receipt Bank. If you can't source a CSV file containing your chart of accounts, click Add a new list, Manual Creation. Now type each nominal code that your business regularly uses to record its purchases. After you've set up your categories, whenever transactions are uploaded to Receipt Bank, they can be assigned the correct accounts and codes to keep your financial records accurate. Great, now that we've set up how we code and describe our purchases, let's add some new users to our account so that they can start submitting and processing transactions. Click on the My Team tab in the sidebar menu. Here, you'll see a summary of all the people who have access to your Receipt Bank account. If you want to create a new login for someone, click Add a new user and fill in their details. Remember to click Notify user via email or SMS to send an invitation from Receipt Bank to their phone or email inbox. This will contain their login information and links to the website and mobile app. The last thing to be aware of here is the user role setting at the bottom of the window. It defines how much access this new user has in your Receipt Bank account. Basic users can only view and edit items that they've personally uploaded to Receipt Bank, but admin users can view and change anyone's transactions. After a new user has been created, you can change any of their associated details using the Manage buttons on this screen. And that's all you need to get started with Receipt Bank. Try adding some new users to your account and, after they've uploaded some transactions to the Costs workspace, coding them according to your chart of accounts. Watch the other videos in this series to learn more about submitting and processing items in Receipt Bank.